Hello geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile application development using Flutter video series and today's topic is completing our to-do list app. So in the last video, we have seen how we can add some items which will be dynamically generate, generate a widget in the screen. If we consider those items as a to-do list with a checkbox, now we should be able to remove the to-do list. Now, just a caution that this code is extension to the code what we have written in the last video. So this will make sense only when if you go ahead and look the last video. So first thing first, to have a proper to-do list, we should have a checkbox handler also just like a text list. So I have this one text box handler. Similarly, I need one more icon button for removal. So let's say I had an icon button dot remove in the set state i'll have a logic for removal but not now let me go ahead and do a hot reload you can see that minus button is here now when we add the text onto the text list similarly we'll have to add the default checkbox value also for that particular text and in the checkbox in the item builder checks checkbox we should rather add this uh, instead of blindly adding false, we should add this checkbox index. As you know that this will go for all the loop. On change, we'll have to write some handler. So what we will do is that we'll change the value of this index as the with the new value and call the set state. Okay. One thing about set state that you you can do the same thing over here also or you can do it first then calls the set state okay so let me go ahead and do a hot reload this and let me start adding something like one two three now i should be able to click on it and unclick on it click on it unclick on it so basically i managed to select one or more of them and i have individual handle to it so in the on test i'll just copy paste the logic because it's very simple so let's see what i'm trying to do over here i have a counter variable and i say that if counter is less than number of items into the list if the text checkbox is true so I'll remove that and I reset the counter. Otherwise, I'll increment the counter. So let me just remove two first. Should be able to remove two. Let me add something more. Let me add four, five, or 11. And if I want to remove one and five, let me remove 10. And if I want to remove all of them, done. I can again add the to-do list. One, two, and three. So that's all about how we can create a simple to-do list and in the last 10 videos we have learned everything that is needed to create a to-do list or create a basic app. In the next video series I will uh, try to come up with something more complicated uh, including multi-page application and setting up of, of the routes but till now this is a good start to practice. And that's all for this particular series. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.